Hey guys, this is Brian. So today I went to the flea market and I found some pretty cool stuff. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, also, I've been working in the shop quite a bit, trying to get some things put together and organized. It's still a mess in here, but I'd still like to show you what I've done so far. So the first thing I found actually was this ax right here. This is a Collins Cruiser X, two and a half pounds. I don't believe it's the original handle, but it's definitely a period handle. And that piece of tape, I guess somebody put it on there so they could see it. There's no cracks or anything, but man, that handle is skinny, skinny, skinny. I love it. Um, I'm pretty excited to find this X. I've got you know, True Temper Cruisers, Flint Edge Cruiser, I've got a Plum, uh, I've got a Wards Master, I've got a Homestead, I've got a few others. Don't have a Collins, so I'm really happy I found that. The next thing was this little Eagle 66 oiler. Still works good. It's got a little oil in the bottom of it, but I probably... I might take some scotch Bright and just kind of clean up some of the tarnishment on here. But other than that, I'll just leave that dude alone. Next was this aluminum ax head. It's a modern woodsman of America, I believe. I think these were their parade axes or uh, some type of like uh ceremony they had or something like that but uh or modern woodsman of america something like that but yeah it's a pretty cool piece i've actually got one of these already but it was such a good deal i couldn't pass it up they're pretty cool this little chisel over here i paid a couple bucks for this i mean for two dollars I couldn't pass it up. I've got hundreds of chisels already, but if I see a nice American made chisel and it's a couple bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. Next and finally, we've got three hammer handles. They're all hickory, pretty nice little hammer handles. Um, I was actually looking for a hammer handle because The other day, I was a little bored, and I decided to clean this guy up. This is a Ampco H1. It's a ball peen hammer, and I haven't even checked yet, but I'm thinking, no, probably not that one. Yeah, probably this one. Oh. Oh yeah, that's going to fit perfect. So this head will be put on this handle soon. Um, this is a non-sparking hammer. It was used in like refineries and some of the early, early ones were used in the oil field. Uh, not so much anymore, but this stuff isn't actually brass. It's beryllium um, and Beryllium is very toxic if you inhale it uh, or ingest it. So the dust off of them, you have to wear a respirator while working with it and all that kind of stuff. But very cool hammer. So why don't we take a little walk around and look at some of the stuff I've been doing. So first and foremost... I got this bench set up finally. Um, it's not completed. I still have stuff all over it. Um, then down here on the ground, those toolboxes and that plastic bin and the one on top of it are full of hand planes. I've got to get those unloaded and put up somewhere. I don't really know where they're going to go yet. Um, 
I still haven't put my axes up. Haven't decided where they're going to go or, you know, what I'm going to do with them. I'll probably pick some out and put in the, uh, put in my office. Um, again, I'm not sure yet though. Uh, also I took Scott Crafter's advice and I started doing some lighting. Um, I hung that light up. So the sellers of this place that we bought it from, they had lights kind of all over the place in here. But if you look over here in that back corner, there's a couple more of those big lights. And they're still good, but they needed new ends on the cords. So I went over to the local hardware store. I got a couple of these ends for the cords. And right now you can see that green extension cord right there. I just hung that dude up there with some baling wire onto the uh, factory hooks mounts. And then I just got that extension cord running over to a little power strip over here. Um, I am not an electrician. I do not like working with electricity. I, an extension cord, you know, doing this is about as far as I'll go. Um, I won't work with any live electricity, anything like that. And I'm not really the person to be showing that kind of stuff. So I'm just not going to. You can tell over here where my wood stove is, it's kind of dark. I'd like to put one more light about right there. Maybe, maybe even on this uh, little run of pipe or angle iron it is. That way I'll have some more light where some of my machines are. But if I do that, I would like to put another light up here above my lathe. I've got this little light right here and I think I'm gonna move it up to this piece of angle iron to go over this little bench island deal. So I've got some moving around and some stuff to do. Um, I've still got boxes, tools, all kinds of stuff on the ground. Um, I'm not, again, I just need to get some more storage. I need to get some shelves, probably a couple more file cabinets. Um, stuff like that. And I'm not really concerned about moving all that stuff in here, even though I want to build a wall right here, because just to be honest, guys, that takes a lot of money. And right now, you know, we just bought this place. We just moved. So we're spending a lot on getting things for the house and getting comfortable here and all the animals and stuff. So, um, it's going to be a little while before we get to that. And really, to get started, all I got to do is move that safe and move a couple refrigerators out a few feet, and I'll be able to get started on that. So, not too worried about it. I'd like to get this organized so that I can utilize this bench. It came with the building. But again, I don't have anywhere to put all this stuff yet. So... Just stick around, and hopefully soon I'll have this place in order. Um, hopefully sooner than later, you know. But I've got stuff just everywhere. I mean, just for instance, what's this? Okay, so this is a Cooper's hammer. You can see this little groove right here in the peen. That was to drive the hoops down on the side of the barrel. Um, gosh, what else is over here? Oh, this is cool. So I don't have any hogs. I don't plan to get any hogs. But this, I don't know if you can see it. Well, is called the handy hog. So what you do, you take this and you stick it over a snout and it kind of kinks it. And then supposedly you could lead them around with this. They've got two different size ends on it, a large end and a small end. Um, there's vices in there. 
There's hammers. I got plain parts. Um, just all kinds of stuff. I got planes down there. There's axes down there. There's another Cooper's hammer, broad axe. This is an old ads. Uh, I got some of my nicer chisels in here. Oh, look at that little guy. A little stare. But, yeah, guys, I hope this has been interesting for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm going to get some more lighting up in here soon. And I've been staring at that lathe for a little while. I think my next video, I might do some stuff on the lathe. I, uh, I had started working on an axe, and I was starting to try to film it and go through it. And for one, my filming's just horrible right now. I know it is. So that was frustrating. And then also, I'm not an expert in anything, guys. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. I love learning stuff, learning new things all the time. And it just doesn't feel right making a video saying, listen, do this my way. This is the way, you know, to do it. Or this is the way I do it. And I... I don't know. Starting out in this channel, it's kind of hard to, I guess, claim to know what you're doing. I feel like I do, and I enjoy what I do. Um, but again, I don't. I don't want to come across as that. I I can't stand those people on YouTube. So I don't know. Maybe give me some advice on that. But I hope you guys make it out to your shop today. Try to relax, have a good day, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.